Hello people, you're welcome to Pro Masterclass. My name is Tola T.A. Alabi. And um, this class is a follow-up to the last class I did um, called um, Minds, Merchants and Magicians. And if, you, if you've not listened to it, I advise you listen to it now. Um, it's the class immediately before this one. And um, it will give a lot of context to this class because I have a question from somebody. Now, someone contacted me and said, now, what if what you have is not getting you the income you desire? That is, you realize you are a mind, you're a mind, and, um, or you're a magician, and it's not making you the income you desire. Um, shouldn't you go after what makes you that income that you desire that makes you sufficient income and that's a great question and that's why i decided to do a follow-up to this class to give some context because a very practical question however i i'm going to give an answer that some people might find it very hard or very unsettling but then i, I will give this answer because in in the long run it will give you clarity um, when you take time to think about it now the truth of the matter is God didn't create man for income. God didn't create us for an income, to make an income. God didn't create us to make an income. It wasn't one of his primary um, reasons for creating us, to make an income. God created man to make an impact. Now, I'll say that again. God didn't create us to make an income. God created us to make an impact. And we only impact by owning our true identity and by using the skill and gifting that God gave us, by being masters in that thing that God has naturally given us. We would impact. Now, I said that might be unsettling for a lot of people, saying, I need to make an income. How will I survive? How will I survive? What do you mean God didn't make me to make an income? God didn't make you for an income. God made you for impact. God prioritizes impact more than income. But man prioritizes income more than impact because man is scared. Because man does not totally depend on God. Um, God created us for impact. And I'll go ahead to say, when you impact God's world for good, remember, God loves this world. He made this world. He took out time to make, make this world. He took out so much time and energy to make this world that he had to rest after making it. That means it was an important project for God, who is all wise, all powerful, to embark on a project and rest afterwards. It means that it was an intense project for God. It was important. So when he makes you and you impact the world that took him so much time, so much time to make, because that's so much time. If, if it took God an amount of days to make the world, that's so much time because God can make things like that by snapping his fingers. It took him time. It took time and he rested. That means this project was absolutely important to him. I, I dare to say, I dare to say for lack of a better word, it drained God to make the world. That's why he rested trained him to make the world. For somebody that is absolute power to put in so much of himself into a project, it was an important project. And so when you impact the world, God doesn't take it lightly. When you impact the world for good, God is incredibly pleased with you. Because this project is one of his most important projects. Earth. Creating the world. And so when you impact the world, God will give you something greater than income. And that's where we lose, we lose sight of what is greater than income. A lot of times the devil um, obstructs our sight of this thing and makes income our life. So when people say, how do I make an income? How do I make a living? Mm -mm. So, we, so the devil has put this great thing to obscure the sun. You understand? And I remember an example of something I read in the book where he said, a, something as small as a coin placed at the right angle can block out the sun. So if you hold a coin in your hand and just put it over the sun, even though the sun is greater than the coin by far, because the coin is closer to your eyes, you will, it will block out the, the, the sun. 
And so the devil has put income and making a living as that coin that is so small, but has put it so close to our eyes that we feel there's no sun anymore. And this is what I'm saying, that when you impact God's world for him pos- positively with your skill, whether as a merchant, as a mind, or as a magician, God will do something greater than income for you. He will give you something greater than income, which is blessings. God will bless you. A lot of times, we, you know, the devil has tried so hard to water down that word blessing that it doesn't make any sense to us anymore. We don't understand what it means to be blessed by God. It just means when someone says, God bless you, and you're going about your day, it just means it's almost like saying, have a great day. That's, that's such an injustice to the word blessings. God will bless you. And I really, really hope and pray that someone listens to this thing and gets to understand what the meaning of the word blessing is. Blessing. It's a spiritual word. It has nothing to do with the physical thing. Blessings. It means good things following you. You can't run away from it. They, they, they've, um, they've imprisoned you. You understand? You're imprisoned by good things. They're looking for you. God will bless you when you impact. That's greater than your income. And I'll tell you why blessings are greater than income. Because everyone at one point of their lives will get too old to make an income the way they want to make it. At least most people. Let me not say everyone. Some people will feel, okay, it's a 100-year-old person that has set apart some business that continues to make him passive income. Passive income, well, we'll talk about that another day. It doesn't really exist. But then, passive income, yeah. But how many people, when they are 70 years old, can still make income the way they were making when they were 30? Because the night comes for everybody. Everybody will get old. And then you won't be able to make income anymore. And then you'll be living on a pension, which is, which is a handout, and you have to manage it. And that will be the time where that difference between the blessed person and the income person will show. Because you are never too old for blessing. There's no retirement age for blessing. Do you understand? And that's why you want to position yourself in a place of blessing, not in a place of income. I'm not saying income is the best thing, but don't let income... The, 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 the income direct what you do with your life. Let your life be directed by, position, by positioning yourself for God's blessing. Positioning yourself for God's blessing is more important than positioning yourself for man's income. And you position yourself for God's blessing by impacting. And you impact by owning your identity and doing that which God has given you naturally, becoming a master, and that brings glory to him. Now, it becomes very hard for us to own our identity. And I'll tell you why it's hard for most people to own their identity. A lot of people, is because you're in the wrong circles. And that's why in my um, podcast that I made um, on minds, merchants, and magicians, and I would advise whoever has not listened to it to listen to it. I started out by saying, I had a conversation with my wife, and she was feeling bad about who she was because she was, because she was looking at someone else that was a merchant. And I told her, you need to stop following these people. It's a, it's a conversation, ongoing conversation with me and my wife. I tell her, you need to unfollow a lot of the people you are following because they are not your tribe. And when I mean tribe, I mean your identity tribe, who you are, your natural giftings. So if you are a mind and in social media you are following a lot of merchants, you will feel your life is very slow and you will feel like you are very poor. If you are a magician follow, following a lot of, of minds, you will feel like you are very dumb. You will feel like you don't know enough. You feel like, like you are not smart. You understand? If you are following the wrong people, you are surrounding yourself with the wrong people, you will undervalue and underestimate the impact of what you have. So I tell people, if you're a magician, look for other magicians. Pitch your camp, your tent with them in that camp. Pitch your tent with them. And then you begin to see the value and how to express what you want in a way that is productive. 
But if you are not, you are just going to Instagram, following you know people that are not minds or magicians or merchants like you. You feel discouraged. You feel very discouraged. So we must learn to follow the people that are in our tribe as much as possible. Follow the people in your tribe. Follow your tribe. You must look for that magician if you're a magician. Look for that merchant if you're a merchant. Look for that mind if you're a mind. That's what I had to do. For a very long time, I go to social media and I feel somewhat depressed and I feel like my life is not going anywhere. And I realized I was following too many magicians. So my life just felt dull and felt un unentertaining. And I was saying, why do they get all the endorsement, all the brand deals? Why do they get all the attention? But when I started following minds like me, I started feeling more at home. And so it's very important for us to follow the people that are like us. Very important. Follow the people that are like you. Follow your tribe. That's the advice I have for you. Your discouragement is not because what you are doing has no value or your identity is lower than someone else's. It's because you've spent too much time following in the group of the wrong people. People that don't value the same thing as you do. So if there's any encouragement I have for anybody today is follow the people in your tribe. Follow magicians like you. Follow merchants like you. Follow minds like you. And then you'll feel more at home. You'll feel more impactful. You'll feel like you have more value at the end of the day. I hope someone listens to this and gets some advice, you know, some clarity from this. Remember, God didn't create us for income. He created us for impact. And by impacting, we get something greater than income, which is a blessing.